everybody it's Tanya Atomic and I just want to say you know I use makeup for fun I like to wear makeup to um, do interesting looks to be creative to express myself and have fun I don't necessarily wear makeup to um, you know enhance my beauty or hide things I feel like are flaws or anything like that um, I just do it for for fun and and creative expression really um, so to me like I enjoy playing with makeup, I enjoy trying out new different makeup, but it's not um, that, you know, important for me to have certain things or whatever, just things that I enjoy. However, I do have two makeup regrets, makeup regrets that are items that I have missed out on that I didn't buy because either they were too expensive or I didn't buy it and it sold out <laughs> and um, I regretted not getting my hands on these they were both palettes I regretted getting my not getting my hands on these eyeshadow palettes and um, you know most of the time it's like makeup is makeup whatever but these particular times you know they they made me sad <laughs> one of the items one of the eyeshadow palettes was the Melt Cosmetics Muerte palette. Now, it was, it was $58. It was more than I wanted to spend on something that I feel like is, you know, for fun kind of thing. Um, but it is so beautiful. It was so unique. And I really regret not buying that. It sold out quickly. Then it was limited edition. They're never going to make it again. And it was super beautiful. Um, if you've never seen it, it was like this... Um, kind of sugar skull I think or like like day of the dead um, skull with flowers and it was uh, all blue and red or burgundies and deep blues color scheme um, just gorgeous 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 and I feel bad that I missed out now I had to make regrets but now that is really my only one because I have in my hot little hands today the pistachio palette from BH Cosmetics. Now this one, um, this was limited edition in the Sweet Shop collection. The whole Sweet Shop collection was limited edition. This one sold out so fast and it was so beautiful and it was one of the ones I really wanted. I couldn't get my hands on any of them but the orange sorbet one, which actually when I tried it, it quickly became my most favorite palette of all time. Um, and I started to get some of the other Sweet Shop palettes that were still available. They all sold out. I even wrote BH Cosmetics an email asking them to please bring this back. That's how crazy <laughs> I was about missing this palette. Um, but they did bring it back. They, they did answer my email and said, um, it's limited edition, so sorry, you know, so too slow you lose. Um, not in those words, but basically they said that. Um, but months went by and more months went by and even more months went by. And finally they decided to bring the sweet shop collection back. So I was able to get this. Um, and they do sell out on occasion, but I believe that all of these restock and I don't know if they're going to be permanent, permanent palettes, but as of right now, um, they are part of the full BH collection, part of their their palette collection. So you should be able to get this. Um, this is the pistachio palette. It's the greens. It comes in this little sleeve like this. This is exactly the same. Like this cover is embossed and shiny and texture is really nice. And then here's the back with some ingredients. The front is exactly the same. The back has a, a, some different information on it than this one, um, just slightly. And then you open it up. It does have a plastic protector and a mirror. And these are the fabulous shades. Um, they're embossed with waffle cone and that's embossed with the BH logo. The tops are shimmers, the bottoms are mattes. I will go ahead and, oh, and it smells lightly of like, it smells like orange sickle, I'm telling you. Like it smells like orange sickle. All of them smell the same, even though they're different colors. 
They all sort of smell like orange so cool to me. There's also a little secret about these palettes that I don't I, I don't know if people don't know or what but I've never seen anybody online talk about it before but I'm gonna show you right now. But anyway um, I will go ahead and do some swatches. Here's the shimmers. This is Sweet Life. This is Dessert. This is Treat. And this is Crunch. And they're super, super gorgeous. Let me go ahead and swatch the mattes for you. The thing about the BH Cosmetics Sweet Chop formula is that the shimmer, not only are the shimmers smooth and beautifully shiny and beautifully and blendable, um, so are the mattes. They just have such good mattes. Um, here is Soft Serve, Guilty Pleasure, Nutty, and Coner Cup. As you can see, they're highly pigmented. They're really smooth. I mean, that one kind of petered out, but I don't think it's the color. Um, I think it's my pinky swatch. But um, <laughs> you will see how they perform because I'm going to um, do this look for you next. And you can see for yourselves. So this is, this is what the palette looks like here. I am going to actually try to use all the colors. Um, just to test, going into Soft Serve, which is the lightest color, sort of a yellow green. I used um, ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. And that's what I'm using now because it it's a good eye primer. It's the... Uh, it's the eye primer that I found work that works the best with many different kind of eyeshadow formulas. So that's why I like to use it. Because it is versatile and I don't have a problem with different textures of shadow. So it's more fair. ends up being more fair when I'm testing the different shadows because I can tell more um, what the different shadows are going to be like and not um, have to worry about if there's a problem with it reacting to a um, <clears throat> with a primer. I'm gonna go into Nutty. That is sort of a, I wanna say like a meadow green, like a fresh, it's not quite a Kelly green. It's a little mossier, but it's like a fresh green. Just like all the other Sweet Shop palettes, this one is blending out perfectly. The colors are vibrant. Zero issues so far. <clears throat> the two matte shades blend really nicely together. I'm going to go back to this um, brush and go into guilty pleasure and just kind of blend now that is a bright and pigmented color and it sort of created a minty color or it's sort of a minty color 
Now I'm going to take this Koner Cup, which is the real dark forest green. And I'm gonna use that. I like to have a little bit of a darkness on this outer corner. I'm kind of stamping it into the shape that I like that I think complements my hooded eyes. <clears throat> and I'm going to take, actually I'm going to take the soft serve again on this brush here and blend that out. I love how the greens are blending into sort of a green halo. I just think that's so pretty. And I had no problems blending that. I don't see any harsh lines. Um, I really see that dark shade just blending into the other shades. So I see that it's deepened the outer corner um, and blended really well into the rest of it. <clears throat> um, so that's all the mattes and I have all the shimmers to use. I'm gonna take crunch and I'm gonna put it um, on the lid on this out outer edge here. Just right where I have the deeper matte color. Okay, I think that blended really well, really complements the um, Koner cup color here. So that's crunch. And then um, treat, I'm going to put on the rest of my lid. And you know what, I'm, I'm not even gonna dilly-dally or play around. I know that these work well with a brush. So I just used crunch with a brush. I'm gonna use my finger for this. That blended in really nicely. Then I'm gonna use this um, pencil brush here. This is a Luxie 217 pencil brush. I really like this one. I'm gonna take the Dessert shade, which is a very pale uh, minty green shimmer. you guys have probably seen tons of other makeup people do this but I always go um, you know lightest to darkest and it just works really well for my eye shape and I'm gonna take the sweet life sweet life is interesting it's like a it's like a light sea green kind of I'm gonna take that and Place it along the bottom. Okay, there's a nice shine there. I think I want I want a color. Um, and I think I want to blend it out with um, this soft serve, although I'm afraid soft serve might be a little yellow. For the under eye area, so why don't I use Guilty Pleasure? It's more of a mint color. I'm just ever so lightly blending that. And then coming up here to meet the other color.
Okay, let me put on some mascara and liner and I'll be right back. Okay, so what do I think about the palette? I absolutely love it. I love it so much. I might like it better than the orange. Um, the orange sorbet palette is so, 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 so good. Um, but this, but the pistachio palette is also super, super, super good. Um, <clears throat> I like all of the Sweet Shop palettes. I think they're amazing. Um, I don't know if every single one is vegan. I accidentally pulled the trigger and bought, I, I remember looking at the ingredients on one site and it said that they didn't have Carmine, but then when I went to the BH site, which is what I trust more, um, for their own ingredients. I did see that two of the palettes have Carmine. Um, this one does not though. This one is vegan and cruelty free. And I absolutely love this. I think that um, the look I came up with using all the shadows, it looks really, really pretty. I think it's really pretty. Um, and typically I wouldn't use all of the shadows probably, you know, if I were using this um not to test but just to make a look i'd probably go for you know one two three four maybe five um tops um but i am using all eight and i think that it it is really really pretty um it blended well there was absolutely zero fallout it's pigmented true to color um i don't even know what else to say it's just it's just, it smells kind of sweet too in the pan. And I just think it's a all over beautiful palette, beautiful looking shadows and just a nice experience to use this palette. Um, so I definitely recommend this if you can get this. I All of the um, Sweet Shop palettes are going to be on, or on the website for sale. Sometimes they sell out, but I think that they will be restocked and they're going to continue having these because they were so popular that they ended up bringing them back. Um, yeah, so I would definitely recommend these. I think these are some of my favorite eyeshadows, favorite palettes of all time. And um, uh, there are $18 each. I don't know we even what to say if you're looking for a monochromatic palette or similar, some of them have like duo colors, two different colors, um, but I I can't recommend this more. Um, I think it is a very good buy. Um, it The quality far, far, far exceeds the price tag for me, um, and I just think they're so beautiful and so fun and such good quality. So I can't recommend these enough. Um, what do you think about these? Do you have these? Any questions? Let me know in the comments below. Please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.